Hello again, everybody. I'm Josh Bean from AL.com. I'm here with Gary Eswick. We're still here at the Hoover Met, and Gary, we saw a classic game tonight. Spain Park beats Hoover for the first time ever on the field. What's your immediate reaction to the ball game? You can tell it took Spain Park 30 minutes to exit the field. It was like they were having like a, a, a fall picnic here. That's true. This was something that has never happened before. 13 straight losses, you're going to celebrate. But, boy, we saw one, not just that they win this game, we're talking about a shutout, quite a performance by their defense. And there, I talked to the running back, Larry Wooden, mm -hmm. very impressive with this win. Okay, so Spain Park had never won. They're here at the Hoover Met where we can see that the goalpost is, is left askew by the Spain Park celebration. But a key moment in the game was when Larry Wooden scored right before the half, change of complexion of the game. Talk to us a little bit about that drive that Spain Park had and how important it was to the outcome of this ball game. You know, he only rushed for 69 yards, mm -hmm. but that one drive at the end mm -hmm. of the second quarter, we're talking about he rushed for 10, he had a 10 yard yep. rush, he had a 15 yard rush. He finished with a six-yard touchdown. So he had, he had, and there was another rush in there, I think, with nine yards. Mm -hmm. He had four big rushes that really changed the complexity of this game. It put the pressure on Hoover. And remember, it's the Buccaneers that are accustomed yep. to making teams look at the scoreboard and tense up. And instead, this time, it was the Buccaneers doing that. And that made the score 10 nothing at the half. Yeah. Hoover comes out to start the second half. Forces a three and out. It looks like they're about to get back in the game. And then they muff a punt. And... You know, it just things just did not go Hoover's way. I think the first three times they got the ball in the second half, it was three and out. They just couldn't find any offensive consistency against this fast, aggressive Spain Park defense tonight. You know, everyone knows the key to beating Hoover, but it's could you do it? You limit your turnovers. And Spain Park entered this game with just two turnovers all season. And they leave with two well, turnovers well, all they, season. Well, they did have the one right by the by the goal line ins inside the two. Yeah, yeah that, that that one. And right there, I said, hey, if Hoover can, can capitalize on this, mm -hmm. yeah, but what that? It was a punt. And, and right. we just did not. Outside of Jimmy Johnson's catch around midfield, yep. it's about a 35, 40-yard yep. catch. That's really the only play that stands out for me when I think about Hoover's offense. Yeah, and Hoover really did struggle tonight offensively. You know, I'm talking to Josh Nibble after the game. He said, hey, they just they were more physical than us up front. They controlled the line of scrimmage. And we all know that that's so important. But, boy, Spain Park looked really good tonight, didn't they? Well, they did. Now, I tell you this 43 game winning streak, it's over. I don't know if I want to play Hoover <laughs> this season. I, I, I don't yeah. know. I mean, it's, it's, it's easy to say now the champion is gone, yeah. the witch is dead, yeah. the evil empire is gone. I don't want to be Tuscaloosa County playing them next week. Well, I'll tell you what, Hoover, you know, th they do have some things to clean up, but you're right. I mean, there's a reason they won 43 in a row against in state competition. Still a very good, capable team. And as Josh Niblett said tonight, all of Hoover's Goals are still out there. They can still win a region championship. They're definitely going to the playoffs. They can still win another state title. So this doesn't ruin their season. But boy, what sure was a great night for Spain Park. We're going to have to figure out where does Spain Park go? Mm -hmm. you, you're, you're, you're leading the you, what, are you seven, yep. uh, 3A now. Where did, how far can this team go? Because now the bullseye is on, is on their back. There's no question the bullseye will be on Spain Park's back. But, you know, they were, at, they were definitely on the mountaintop here tonight. Do they stay there or do they have a letdown? We won't know, but boy, this, this really was a great win. So here from the Hoover Met, for Gary Eswick, I'm Josh Bean. Thanks for watching here on AL.com.